Dollar Tree haul for everybody. Now, I've been, this is my first one, so bear with me on all this. Um, I'm going to go through it kind of fast because there's quite a bit, and there's um, stuff that I bought maybe a month ago, like this, my husband's office thing going on, party or whatever. I guess he's wanting to wear this, and I'm going to get that out of the way so he can take it to work with him. These glasses. How cute are those? I wouldn't wear them, but okay. This nose. Look at this. I should have brought more because my grandson would totally love it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine wearing this anywhere, but I guess everybody could put one on on Christmas Day when you're opening up presents. Yeah, that would be really good. Okay, let's get on with my haul. Did I get some boring stuff, I guess, here? My husband likes these. He loves these. He's already ate two bags of them. I'm going to get them out of It's hard for me to hold on to the camera and this. These are, oh, are you looking at this the right way? All right. The jalapeno chips. I don't like these things. They're hot. So, I don't know if you're even seeing this. I hope you are. I'm sorry if the quality is bad. This is my first time on filming these. I got this sack. Is this the cutest thing? It has a 3D-like effect. I love these sacks. They're beautiful. All right. I should have had these sacks down first, huh? this I picked up for my son. Oh, by the way, I got my husband to do some dumpster diving, and we found a lot of brand new books. This is not one of them. At um, Barnes & Noble. Thrown away, so this is called Good Talk Dad. This is funny. Um, I'm giving it to my son. He's got a seven-year-old, six-year-old little boy and a 11-year-old little girl. Anyhow, I have five, six grandchildren, five granddaughters, and I think that's kind of, that sounds kind of shine and weird. Okay. And anyhow, this is funny, and I think he will definitely like it. He likes to read. My other son does not. So, oh, let's get this out. Again, my husband wanting he buys these things for safety. They're just orange folders. And I don't know why he bought this, but okay. He likes it because it's a pig and it's a safety pig and it's a bank. A safety color bank. Yeah, nothing to do with Christmas, but I don't know what to do with that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. The piggy bank attacked you. Here's the um, cookie cutters. My husband promised me that he would help decorate cookies this year. So here's the cutters. We'll see. I have proof with it. Um, he talked about it in Messenger with um, witnesses. So, yeah, he's going to have to help me decorate Christmas cookies. When I get in the mood. I've not been in the mood this year. I bought another one of these, which I like them, but then again, I don't. They light up, and they're, they're not the real bright white lights. Um, it's just that some of them, they're darker, like the glitter is darker, and some, you can't see it right now, but when you light it up, it's darker in some areas, but there's an area over in my kitchen. I'll show you. Maybe the next few weeks or whatever, my Christmas decorations and stuff. Um, yeah, the glitter is darker in some areas than the others, so it's not, yeah, it's pretty, but you almost can't tell the difference. There's silver ones. These are gold. Um, there's silver ones and gold, and you can't really tell the difference when they're turned on. So that's the, I'm just trying to get my table cleaned off here, and oh, my grandson's stocking stuffers. These are like the erector sets, kind of like the, and you might need some help putting these together. It's an airplane and it's like a little car or something. 
It's just a couple little stocking stuffers. His dad can help him put it together. Oh, my decorations are in the way. No, I think that I'm probably in the way. I'm right in the place and I'm trying to get that set out of the way and it's not going to go out of the way. Oh, here's some dice for the Yahtzee game in case we, my husband picked it up in case we lost it. Okay. Let's get the rest of these sacks here. Um. Oh. Um. Um, I got these games because I saw other people calling them, but I don't know that these are not the trivia ones. Well, I know is what it is. It is, says it's a trivia game. Trivia for your eyes. Everyone can play. Anyone can win. So we're going to try that out, huh? That'd be kind of fun. Family feud. Might as well get in a fight on Christmas Day, you know. Anyhow, let's see. I finally, after going to so many Dollar Trees, found these little books that actually, and I don't know why, they had more books than they had envelopes. That doesn't make sense. So it took me a while to find out. It's just Jesus is the reason for the season. I have a feeling you're seeing this backwards. <laughs> I am when I look in the camera. Let it snow. and It has... I'm sure you saw the people hauling these. I just know he has and have. It has little sayings inside of it. My idea of Christmas, whether old fashioned or mo modern, is very simple loving others. And then there's uh, somebody who's by Bob Hope said that. What do you know? He was funny. But that's not funny. That is very good. Anyhow, that's. That's what that book is. And then this one is Cats. And I don't know what this is all about. A family stopped exchanging presents at Christmas. They would rather help others by gifting their options. So I don't know. By yeah. Gifting their gifting their options. Or their opinions. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sun's in my eyes. I cannot, this has got to be backwards and this lighting has got to be bad for you guys. Anyhow, that was it. And then the, was the night before Christmas. That's a pretty little book. You can mail these in the mail, I guess. I I don't know if I, I would or not. And then the one that says Happy Holidays. This is, uh, I think it's just more, more pretty, you know, quotes and stuff. And the same with this one. And that's all my store had. And this video is not going to be very good because the lighting is terrible. And my hand's falling asleep. So I'm going to hurry up with this. And, oh, I got my grandson. You know it's hard to buy for him. So when I find something, I get it for him. This is just a little, it's something to put, a little stocking. Actually, it's the Justice League. I'm sure he'll like it. That and... I love these things, and I was—I've already ate them, so the box is empty. But they're very good, and I recommend them by Brunswick. They're very, very good. They have them in chicken salad too. I got this bowl. I finally found it. Oh, oh here's some hand sanitizer. I need that all the time. And let's see. We went to two different Dollar Trees, so I got all these. Anyhow, yeah, I got this bowl because I got some Christmas ornaments that um, left over, and they're all the same color. They're green, and I thought, oh, well, okay, I'm going to put them in there. One of these days, probably be after Christmas. I don't know. Oh, here they are. I found these, and these are one of the things we found in the dumpster dive, so I'll get to that on another day. And last... I think that's it. What do you know? That is it. That's all my... Oh, I've got sponges. How exciting. I've opened them up and used one already. I love them out on my sink. They're only a dollar. You get one. You get six in a package. Nine. No, six. Six in a package. And when you're... 
You think it's sturdy? Just throw it away. It's only a dollar. And they're great because they've got these little indents in them for your nail nail guard sponges so they won't hurt your nails. I like that. Fake nails or polished nails or whatever. Anyhow, that's my Dollar Tree haul for today. I don't know when I'm going to get back to the Dollar Tree. Probably soon. I will get back with you on that dumpster dive find. Mm, this is one thing I found in the dumpster. It's an odd light. Those things are expensive. Anyhow, I will talk to you later, and I hope you have a great day. And later.